Reactivate right. payments. Apparently already activated this. I'm here and I have zero mob. <laughs> I have zero mob. 0.0. 0. Okay, let's see. I, so the big question we were talking about was, can you add funds directly in this app and not have to go through an external exchange? Oh my gosh, you can't. <laughs> you All cannot it, as far as I can touch. That is so <laughs> whack, dude. Okay, so let me move over to my desktop then and see where the hell you buy this nonsense. Man, it'd be so nice if they supported more than mobile coin. Oh, instant mob to Bitcoin swap. Okay. Atomic wallet. Let me make sure this is legit. I mean, no one's saying just flat out, you know, is it scam? Is it M M B O X? It's not. So it doesn't support mobile coin. <laughs> the mobile coins website um, suggests mix swap. You have to get a separate messenger app. <laughs> What? You have to download an app called Mixin Messenger. Oh, but if I click the link to it, it says 404 page not found. I think I might have found something. Bitcoin to mob. Mixwap. Dot, okay, go to app.mixwap.exchange. And I don't want to wait lose that much money with this nonsense. Um, let's do zero. <laughs> okay, I have 20 bucks. A suspended trading. I got to notice, no, Mixwap has suspended trading due to the delay in the Mixin mainnet, which has affected uh, multi-sig transactions. Cryptocurrency is so stupid, man. Okay. The X in one link doesn't work on my phone. <laughs> it, I, I, I get an error message I've literally never seen before that says <laughs> Safari cannot open the page because the address is invalid. <laughs> I can't even open links on X anymore. <laughs> what? I don't want to have to open a Binance account just for this, though. Because it's going to... Is... Will it KYC me? I think it will. Let me try. Binance? I didn't even think Binance is available in the US. They have Binance USA. Right, I don't think that supports mobile coin. Binance USA doesn't support, like, anything useful as far as I am aware. See, what really irritates me about this is I envision this as being an alternative to something like Venmo or just something like Apple Cash. You know, Apple has this whole thing where you can just send people money and it's super convenient. Like, imagine I'd have to get someone to start using this nonsense. Okay, so there was a mix-in network exploit on September 23rd, apparently. So all of these exchanges are down because I'm on a different one called Forswap which was renamed a Pando Swap, and they can't do it either. On the MixSwap exchange site, um, one of the exchanges listed besides X and one was four swap, the, no the numeral four swap. So I looked that up to see if they could do the exchange. Um, but there's like a bunch of error messages on their page too, saying like in September there was a mix in network exploit, so they all suffered losses and they can't do anything. So I mean, even if I want to like KYC myself on a whole new platform, um, and I, I want to just go through this nonsense, can I still not do it? Where do I go? The other, okay, they do, Mobile Coin recommends an exchange called S Fox. S Fox, okay. Which I think is an exchange and not like a swap service right. where you could probably KYC yourself. Let's see. Um, but it looks, I mean, they all look suspicious to me, but. <laughs> right. Well, let's see how far I can get without having to KYC myself. Oh, here it goes. Verify email, verify phone, verify ID. So you'd have to verify yourself on this Sfox platform. To be able to buy mobile coin and send it here into this wallet. Do you know anyone with mobile coin already? <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen a single person. I've never even heard of a single person using mobile coin. <laughs> I'm really upset you can't just buy it with Apple Pay directly in the app. Because if it did that, I think 
it would actually be somewhat useful. Maybe. It'd still be hard to get mm. it out of the app, like the money. Right. But at least you could... That's what I'm surprised by. I'm surprised that they don't make it easy to at least buy it and start using it. And then someone goes, well, shit, I have $30 here that someone sent me. That I have. I, I, I'll go through the hassle of opening an account with Fox. Highly suggest avoiding KYC when you can. Um, but if you're going to at least do it through a reputable company who's going to have at least, you know, some kind of security team and you're not going to get hacked randomly. Um, at the time we're testing this, we can't even swap it. I was hoping to be able to just swap it because I already have Bitcoin and Monero. And so I would be able to just send it to a swap and they would just mm -hmm. give you mobile coin to my address. But we can't find a way to do that either. Just downloading different apps at this point. How can none of these apps let you buy the cryptocurrency? Isn't that the whole point of cryptocurrency? Yeah. To take your money? Oh my gosh, this app. <laughs> it says you can fund your account with stable coins like EUSD, whatever that is. But then you click it, it says funding EUSD with crypto is temporarily unavailable at this time. Just can't even do that. What's the point? No, you have to KYC yourself in this app too to buy it with a debit card. I'm on something called Paybiz. P-A-Y-B-I-S. You know what this video is going to be? It's going to be a video of us just installing malware on our devices. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, literally. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> what, okay, look up, look up Paybiz. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's with, with an S. Is that what it is? Pay yeah. Biz. Yeah. Okay. With an S. Oh, wait a second. This isn't even... <laughs> this... This... This Moby app that's on the mobile coin site isn't even... Mobile coin. It's EUSD. Like, they changed... They changed the cryptocurrency. Oh, you, you have to enable mobile coin separately in settings. In okay, papers. hold on. No, in in this Moby app. What? Uh, but but then when you enable Mobile Coin and then you switch to the Mobile Coin tab, there's a fund button. You click it and no options show up. So... <laughs> Man, if you could look at my phone screen right now, it's so ridiculous. But I kind of wonder why the U.S. is so restricted because usually it's the opposite. I would expect all of these services to not be available in the EU and to be available in the US, but it's always the opposite case with right. stuff like this. Okay, created an account, gets you verified. Oh, yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. Complete the following steps to verify your account. I need personal information, government issued ID, a liveness check, and a questionnaire. Oh no, they're, they're, they won't let me in, man. There's an official like buymobilecoin.com service in their FAQ. It, it says that it doesn't work in the US anyways, but like even if you go to it, it says that it's been shut down entirely. So it seems like mobile coin is just a dead product at this time. Wow. Well, we gave it a shot. <laughs> we gave it a shot late. I give it that. Maybe it used to be better, but this is kind of my experience Doubt with it. most of these nonsense cryptocurrency projects. And it's why I was never happy with like the Odyssey crap, the freaking library tokens or whatever. I, I remember right. when the Linux experiment shut down his Odyssey channel. <laughs> they're just, they're such garbage that he just sent it all to us. <laughs> he posted on Mastodon. He goes, yeah, I just sent all of my library tokens to TechLore. Cause like, what am I going to do with this? And then I'm, I'm stuck with these things now as if it's a good thing. <laughs> like, I know he, he obviously meant well, and I super appreciate Nick for doing that, but I'm like, I don't know what to do now with this. So if I delete Odyssey, I'll just have to give it to Nate from a new oil or something. <laughs> Let him figure out what to do with it. <laughs> I suspect it was never any better in the United States. It might have been better as far as like, uh, I guess mixers might have worked a few years ago, but. <laughs> right. Who knows? All right. Well, thanks for trying it out with me.